So for my little workshop I came up with a new uh, material holder um, to save space and uh, I have this oddball wall behind this door which is well there's some space that can be used so uh, five six centimeter and a lot of height so I will uh, use this for storing bar stock uh, threaded rods, uh, small pipes and such things. And uh, I've come up with an idea for that. Uh, I will use these PVC, uh, PVC pipes that are used for, uh, usually for uh, wastewater, I think. Um, I bought 10 of these, one meter long, uh, five centimeter in diameter. And I will use a French cleat system here several rows where you can hang these in close them at the bottom use different lengths and then I can put my bar stock in there if something drops I can pull it off dump it out and look what's uh, what is dropped inside or I can uh, use different lengths uh, shorten them if need be so that they always that there are always some that uh, have some stick out of 10 20 centimeters so that I can easily grab and see what's inside and it should not interfere with the door. So let's see how I can do that. So I've checked now where I want to put the uh, French cleat uh, pieces uh, to attach my, uh, my pipes. And I've located uh, seven places and one at the very bottom to avoid that uh, pipe tilts. So it has a backer at the bottom. Let's do some quick thinking. I need seven strips. I uh, set four centimeters. This, this width should be okay. With a 45 degree angle at each side. Be to lengths, but I can give him an extra. This one has a piece of shell. pieces from top to bottom and I've uh, taken one and roughly marked out where uh, to put them at the top and then down below and I've checked that I hit the stones and not the uh, spaces in between the stones with my screws. <clears throat> this doesn't need to be 100% exact. to determine where to put the holes and I will take half this width which is 35 so that's a 15 a 17 17 millimeters 
17 millimeters and I will just use this and uh, put a little dent in here. I will use these 50 mm screws and these little plastic dowels to attach to the wall and therefore I make 4 mm screw holes now for all the pieces. I put a piece of a scrap particle board below so that I don't, uh, don't have so much uh, burst out at the bottom. So pieces. good. So they should all start about 5 cm from the side. Just to be on the safe side I will number them. And they should all start about 5 cm from the side. The height is not 100% important, so I'll just make a little mark where I want these to start. 5 cm from the side. Put it on the wall. See where it goes. Level it. Level it like this. So now let's see about some drilling.
go. Dial it in. Now I put the screws in beforehand so that I can find the dowels. So let's plan how long I will make these tubes. This thing gets placed in the bottom. I need some space for that to apply some glue, so I leave maybe one centimeter. And then I want to put these inside and have them stick out. So I will use this very dusty saw, which I use rarely, to do just that. Put in a second mark. Okay. I don't need this, I will just hold it. That went very well, I think. I think I leave these rubber seals here inside. They protect the stock a little bit, some dirt on them, but I think I'll just leave them in. Okay, <coughs> now we have this part. Okay, it's a little bit loose now. How do I best do this? I think... Can I just hot glue this? I think I can just hot glue this. Let's try it. Let's try it. What I need now is some way to hold this inside, so that it does not slip inside. For that I use this little rod and leave that out, what did I say, half a centimeter or something. Inside. Doesn't really matter. This should be enough. I'll leave it longer. If I have enough of this, just leave it longer. This is 
bent anyway. It's very good to use a bucket here. So this is this. Hold that in. Now let's. I think it's a good idea to rough this surface inside. rough inside that should improve the adhesion of the hot glue should be enough now it's quite rough inside could now clean this up with alcohol or something, but with, that would be overdoing it, I think. Yeah, this is rough enough, very rough. 40 grit sandpaper. So the hot glue grips into the grooves. And I put this inside. Very generous drop right into the corner. Now I add some for the towel as well. Now I pull a little bit on this. Really gets stuck in there. Now I just let it cool. I'm interested to see if this really works. So let's see where we are now. The hot glue has cooled down. I'm really interested to see how well this will hold. First impression is very good. I will now remove the rest of the towel. Just to have an even end here. And now, about the worst thing I will put in these is this. What is this? This is like. Um, I think this is a lot. It's an M M10, an M20 threaded rod. It's about the worst thing I put in there. Like the weight, maybe, maybe it's five kilograms or something. Mm, three, four kilograms at least. I will put this in here. Have it fall down. I don't want to intentionally break this now. It's just static load. Should be no problem. So last time I prepared these tubes, a bigger one of course, with the uh, plugs at the bottom. It's just hot glued. And I tested it, it holds very well. And now for the clamps. I need to uh, need some clamps to hang it on this French cleat system. And for that I used my uh, new uh, 3D printer and printed these clamps. 
I think this is a very nice application for a 3D, pr uh, 3D printer and uh, they also came out quite nice. This is a French cleat part. There is a hole for a screw right through there. There's no um, uh, um, um, I didn't prepare it. I just made the hole. I didn't cut uh, threads into there. Just made the hole a tiny bit uh, smaller than this and this wood screw will just cut right in there. This is made from PET, not from PLA. Would probably work also from uh, PLA, but I used PT because that's a little bit more uh, forgiving uh, regarding flex. If I flex this to put it on, <coughs> and uh, it's just a little bit less brittle, and I think this is good for uh, this kind of use. So let's put this on. I put the writing at the back, put this on there. I will. Top and it holds so tight that I don't need a rim here to, to catch it, just can squeeze it right on there and holds it tight. I do this by hand just to avoid uh, over cranking it if I use a uh, um, use a drill, I'll probably overdo it. This should be it. Oh, a little, got a little bit out of round, but that's not no problem for this purpose. This holds very well. And this just, um, I printed this with, let me think, uh, I think 0 0.4, so this is just, I have another one. <coughs> It's just a couple of layers, two millimeter thick, uh, and I didn't even make a complete infill here. Uh, just this uh, round part is completely filled with no holes in there, and this is just to save uh, safer materials, not completely infilled. And I tested it on the big ones also. So. So obviously not everybody has a 3D printer, but I think an alternative, alternative which I do have not tested, um, but I think it should work fine, is something like this. You have your uh, pipes, you use a French cleat piece made from wood. I have this, this is from something else, it is too small. I would use a more chunky one with more material like uh, this, maybe 3-4 centimeter in this direction. And maybe also with this bottom part have um, a little bit more uh, um, more support here but that's up to you I think it will work without also then put a hole through the wood here and put a cable tie through it and cable tie this pipe like this obviously through the wood and it holds like that Maybe if you do not have a lip here, like with the complete pipes, which get a little bit thicker here, this can slip off, but I think uh, you should be fine if you use some, uh, add, add some glue or just a, stri a little bit of glue above here so that it cannot slide like this. And it should also just tighten by, by the weight of what you uh, uh, put in there. Uh, and you should get stuck. I don't think it will slip, but that's up to you to test it. Use some glue or something else. Yeah, I think this is an alternative. If you do not have a 3D printer, you make parts like this, put a cable tie through there, a big chunky one, a little bit bigger than this maybe also, and you should be fine. Now let's place our parts on the wall and see how it looks once it's done. So let's hang them on there.
So there we go. I think this looks really nice. What's in there? There's aluminum, aluminum pipes, copper pipes, plastic, uh, mild steel, shafting, aluminum profiles, big threaded rods, hardened uh, rods from uh, old printers, very good resource, small pieces of, of threaded rod, especially these types of things, you throw them in a bin, uh, metal parts bin and you never use them because you don't know they are there and grab pieces of new uh, stock instead. More threaded rods, random bits and pieces. Yeah, basically what I had uh, lying around unsorted. One thing to consider, however, is that uh, this system you sort by length of material, not by type, mostly can see it's all mixed here so that's something you can can consider but you can see, see see everything easily and if something drops in there you can lift just just lift this out pour it out see what's in there or if you need to take a closer look and they're also spaced like this so that you can grab it right out here and take what you need and if your requirements change you just chop a piece off put a new plug at the bottom or shift the positions of the piece around. And I have a lot of these small uh, pieces left and I will just use them for very small parts. That, uh, yeah, why not? And, well, they are open so they collect dust and so on, but it's no, that's no problem here. The door still fits uh, nicely, closes nicely. Yeah, that's it. We can just move them around if there's Something to reconsider, just move them like this, out of the way. Yeah, well, this is a little bit of an oddball. Yeah, I have to say I'm quite happy with this project. Yeah, and that went really well, I think. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, if I don't forget, I will uh, put the clamps for these... Uh, what was it? 50 millimeter pipes. Uh, I will put this uh, French cleat clamp design in uh, in the description below. Hopefully, yeah. See you guys.